representative of the United Kingdom for his statement. I now give the floor to the representative of the Russian Federation. Thank you, Mr. President. We thank the chair of the Security Council 1540 Committee, Juan Ramon de la Fuente Ramirez, for his thorough briefing on the work of this subsidiary body of the Security Council and his priorities for the upcoming period. The Russian Federation is unstintingly committed to the purpose and goals of Security Council Resolution 1540. We highly value the spirit of global cooperation in the document. We believe it is important to maintain its preventive and non-proliferation character. The 1540 Committee has the important role of monitoring the implementation of the resolution by member countries and coordinating efforts for the provision of technical assistance upon their request. In order to achieve our core objective, the implementation of Resolution 1540 by all countries, taking into account their existing capacities, a great deal still needs to be done. In that connection, the committee needs to focus its efforts on doing the work that is before it, despite all of the difficulties, be it the pandemic or the complicated international circumstances. We trust that its activities will significantly be intensified in all main areas. In order to do that, it's important to maintain within the committee a constructive atmosphere of cooperation and to base its work on the principle of consensus. On the 25th of February, the UN Security Council adopted Resolution 2622 on the, te the latest technical extension of the 1540 Committee's mandate until the 30th of November 20 uh, this year. Russia joined the consensus achieved on this document in the interests of concluding the comprehensive review of Security Council 1540 uh, resolution, which unfortunately has repeatedly been delayed. We trust that this year, as part of the review, it will be possible to organize the open consultations with member states. We convince that these consultations must be inclusive and must involve the largest possible number of countries in substantive discussions on the issue of non-proliferation and preventing weapons of mass destruction and WMD materials falling into the hands of non-state actors. We appreciate the efforts of the committee's chair and also the UN Secretariat to ensure the conduct of these consultations in person to allow this goal to be achieved. We expect the prompt agreeing of documents on the conduct of the open consultations and the committee sending invitations to UN member countries so that they have enough time to prepare for the event. Since it is states that are responsible for implementing the provisions of Resolution 1540, their contribution to the outcomes of the open consultations is necessary in order to for the committee to prepare a fully-fledged outcome document of the comprehensive review to present to the UN Security Council. I would like to note the unquestioned importance of adopting a long-term mandate for the committee after the 30th of February this year. We are convinced that it must be based on the unifying foundations of Resolution 1540 and aimed at maintaining the fundamental principles of the committee's work without giving it intrusive and attributive powers. Only this will allow this subsidiary body of the Security Council to continue to carry out the important role entrusted to it to support the implementation of Resolution 1540 in the interest of the entire international community. Thank you for your attention. I thank the representative of the Russian Federation.